This is my school family. This is my school family. This is my school family. Now wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Boom, boom, boom. This is my school family. This is my school family. This is my school family. Shake hands with a friend. Shake hands with a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Wave to a friend. Wave to a friend. Hello, hello, and happy Monday. Today is Monday, December the 11th, 2023. Welcome to more announcements. We've done our de-stress activity, our school family. We're one family. Let's all take a deep breath in. <sighs> Breathe out. I want to hear that breath. Breathe in and out. Smile, take a deep breath, and relax. All right, high five, elbow touch, something to show that you're connected. Let's do it. Let's do it. Again, this is interactive. That means you're up in movement in the classroom. As relates to um, what you're going to commit to today, what do you plan on doing? Completing your assignment, cleaning up behind yourself, take care of taking some deep breaths or using kind words. I want to be very, very clear that we're all doing this um, together. So. Let's all move forward as we are working together with this, all right? Remember with the clean up the room, I sent a nice email to teachers. I need those rooms clean and organized. It is everyone's responsibility to clean up after themselves throughout the day. I should not come into classrooms, see paper, pencil, folders all over the place, jackets, coats. We have to do a better job of organizing our classroom. And teachers, you are responsible to make sure that transitional cleanup time is happening. There's way too many kids. Again, just like outside, there's way too many kids. We should not just let them not clean up after themselves. All right, let's do that after breakfast, in between classes, transition of subjects, clean up after yourself. That is your classroom. All right, all right, all right. Take a moment to wish each other well. The things in our world, our family, we never know what people are going through. So let's take a deep breath in. All right, teachers and staff, I will develop and support my students to grow at MMA. Students, I can try and work hard to grow together. All right, we'll focus on compassion this month for core values. Our conscious discipline for the month of December is encouragement. We're in all, we are in this together. We're all in this together. Our job is to keep each other safe and to encourage one another. MMA, maintain respect, make good choices and always be safe. That is the expectation. Brag tags are still happening. Hopefully last Friday, you got brag tags. This Friday, I will hand out more. So keep getting those brag tags. I love to see the students wear them proudly. All right, student of the month. Again, congratulations, Miss Renee. I will have you guys certificates and treat bags today. Uh, Miss Renee, we congratulate you for being November staff of the month and all these students here. We congratulate you as well. Thank you for going up, going over and beyond in the classroom. All right, safety, security. You see something, you say something. That is everybody to keep each other safe here. It's cold outside. Make sure you have your coats, hats, and gloves on. All right, really quickly, we've already started trimester two, and we already have 11 weeks to go. So trimester one, you got your report card. You probably saw your report card. You want to continue to do better. You want to continue to build on that. The work is going to get harder. Trimester one is a lot of review, a lot of testing, but the, the content, that means the things you're learning is going to get more challenging. And teachers, you definitely got to step up your assessments and make sure that we're all on the same page, working with the kids with all these different programs. All right, let's keep the pace here. This is a school and we're learning together. That's our expectation. For lunch today, you have cheeseburgers, buns, beans, and fruit. And of course you have milk. Events today and all this week, we have the holiday shop. Students, your staff members have the schedule. I sent it home last week. I sent it home this weekend. Students that come to the store must have money. Again, the students on your scheduled day, when you come over, those are the students that will be allowed to go, the ones that have money. We do have a makeup day on Friday. So if you do not go on your scheduled day, which is, it happens, you can go on Friday to make it up. We're going to have an exciting time for holiday. It's an exciting time to celebrate friends and family and um, buy them something for this holiday season. Thank you in advance. 
All right, next week, believe it or not, next week is our last week of school before winter break. Kindergarten and first graders will have a holiday concert um, on the church side. Their parents will be welcome to come on December 22nd. And next week is Spirit Week. Every day next week, um, you guys will have something fun and silly to do. And then Friday, you will have some type of classroom, simple classroom activity. All right, we're not partying all week. Let me make that clear for teachers and students. Next week, when we get, we still have a learning week. Not the last week of school is all partying. Let me make that clear. We have some fun activities throughout the week. And on Friday, you'll have a gathering. So teachers, make sure that you have consistent lesson plans and things that are going on next week during our spirit week and before we go on break. All right. Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you for who you are. You matter us, and we're excited to see you in the hallways. Bye-bye.